Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to an update here on Netflix. I thought I would do this because it's getting into the end of the year. And I did say that I thought Netflix would get up to $400 before the end of the year. It's It looks like that is actually going to come to fruition. Pretty interesting. I said it here the day that the stock gapped. This was the earnings. It gapped up to 389.16, and it had this huge, huge red bar. Uh, that came all the way here in, into support, but this chart is in such a beautiful uptrend. Here, look at this. This is actually like the bullish gap of the year here in Netflix. Netflix gets the prize for the bullish gap of the year because it started out this year doing a corrective gap back here in January, and it's never looked back. I mean, this just has never, never looked back. Here's the whole chart. Look at that thing. So I thought around the 375-ish area in here, is where it was confirmed then that it would do it by the end of the year. And it did get there, it looks like a couple days ago. Yep, missed a year. Now here. Looks like the 13th. It's Friday. And of course, the rally in the market is going to help this into the end of the year as well. And so I've seen all this here when I made this call. And this is just a beautiful chart. So, you know, you have a big bar like this and a stock end up trying all it is is profit taking. And I felt that as soon as the trading and the buying started to come through right around this area in here, that it would retrace part of this point. It's more than 55% of this red bar that it would it would take the lift, lift off and it would go. And actually, I think tomorrow this is going to have a nice fat day. And I think this is going to get up tomorrow with the market. All of this in here is a stock resting and getting the momentum and getting going and getting going and getting going and getting going and getting going. And it's 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 just one of these things where I can see where the price is going to do ahead of time. And $400 would be an all-time high for Netflix. This was at all-time highs here back here on the 22nd in October when it had the earnings. It, it almost made it then. I mean, really. Look at that. What a nice chart. So Netflix is continuing through, keeping up its pace. Look at the beautiful moving averages here, the 8. On the black line, the 20 is a blue line, the 50 is a green line, and the 200, this this is like an elevator. Look at that 200 pre moving average. Look at that. It's beautiful. The, Netflix is a bullish golden gap of the year, just without a shadow of a doubt, ever since this gap that happened back here. And why? Because the stock was in a downtrend. Let's go back here. Let's go all the way across, back in time. This is all before that. This is last year. This is 2012. This is Netflix. So Netflix was in a downtrend all this period here. Look at that. And Netflix fixed, it, fixed itself and corrected itself on a bullish gap, a very high quality gap that happened in January of 2013 this year and is held. This is the reason that I like to trade gaps. And it's also the reason that I can read these charts very well because I knew that this was an immediate aggressive buy. And a lot of people wanted to fade this. And I said, no, no, it's a buy. And then look what it did the next day afterwards. This is amazing. And all of that held. I mean, look at how great that chart is. And do you know that if you would have bought this here, how much money you would have made this year just holding this position? Even if you only had 100 shares, and how would you know to do that? How would you have the answers? How would you have conviction? Where, where? How would you even know? Because you'd read the gap. You'd rate the gap. You'd rate the gap as a golden gap. And if it rated over 20 points, which this did, you would look to buy it. You would buy it on the day or the follow through continuation here, or you would hold the position. And, you know, I was just one of these things. I mean, I really, I think Netflix is on its way to the $400 number here before the end of the year. And it's less than two weeks left, but it only has $25 to go. And that's a sneeze, a sneeze for Netflix. And the other thing I'm noticing here, there isn't one large green day in here at all. There's some nice greens, some medium sized greens, some small greens. There isn't one large green day in here, not since the earnings, not since this whole thing here, not with the market rally. And there will be one, and that will make it pop and blow over the number and get over 400, actually, because once it hits over uh, 389, it's going to just blow. And, you know, this is going to actually happen tomorrow now. I'm seeing this here. Just, you know. So this is Melissa with the StockSwitch.com. This is Netflix. Nice update on Netflix. It's doing it, people. It's doing it. It did it.
This is the bullish golden gap of the year. It gets the award. I'm going to have to make an award here for Netflix. It gets it. And I love Netflix. Love it. Love it. I can't wait to sign up for it again. Uh, moving into my new apartment soon, and I'm going to have to get Netflix. I love Netflix. I've always loved Netflix. Love it. So this is Melissa with thestockswish.com. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information on how to read gaps, how to rate gaps, how to see these numbers and see these price areas. Have a great day, everybody.